Hey there. Thought I would do a little video about some of the mods that I did on the Oklahoma Joe Highland Smoker that, that worked and the ones that, yeah, they, they're okay. They're not great. They don't do as much as I'd hoped. So let's take a look at some of these things I've done. Okay, so the first thing I did on the outside was added a second thermometer. There was already a hole there for it. Now, one of the things I did was I tested both of these. This was the one on the left that came with it. The one on the right is one that I added. They're the same model. I ordered the same one uh, from Amazon. I tested them both. This one was dead on accurate for a boil at 212, 212 degrees boiling water. This one was about 10 degrees low. So it just allows me to know that this one, um, when it's reading 200, it's actually 210. So, and I oriented both of these when I installed them so that 225 is basically directly up because I like to smoke at 225 if possible. You know, that gives me a quick visual reference that I'm, you know, kind of in the range there, right there. So that was one of the things I did, and I like that. Okay, another of the mods that I did, which I'm not as happy with, are the latches. What the latches do is they secure the lid down to the smoker chamber. Theory is that it's going to force a tighter seal and keep more heat in, more smoke, but mostly heat. That's the important thing. The reality is when these are open, I don't notice any difference. <laughs> um, I think that's because the gasket that I ended up installing um, actually works really well. So let me show you that. So this is the gasket here along there. It's a Nomex gasket. It's available from Amazon and other places. I'll put a link in the description. You can see that. It has self-adhesive. The main thing is to get it kind of that surface under there degreased first before you put it on. And up at the top you can see how it's, you know, it's a kind of very sort of singed and that's okay you know it gets a lot of heat up there heat rises um, but it hasn't seemed to impact the fact that it works well you know it holds the helps hold the heat in um, so I've been I've been generally happy about that the other thing you notice inside here let's just stay inside is these three little pans three little water pans that I put in and they're movable, obviously. I can shift them around. There's one there. And there's two at this end, closer to the firebox, the hotter end. I can add water in there. I can do one pan, two pans, three pans, or take some out. Um, gives me plenty of room to shift things around, but I, can, I don't have to have one large water pan. I had a large water pan below on the baffle down here, below the grate and it was over on the right side and it impacted the temperature on this side of the chamber by about 20 degrees, which I didn't want. Um, so this with the three smaller pans allows me a little bit more control and doesn't take up too much space. I don't have to use them all. Now, one of the things that took the most work, but I'm most happy with, see if you can see it there, is that little pass-through. That's a silicone high heat grommet. I believe it's originally for a Weber um, Smoky Mountain. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put a link in the description. Um, had to drill with a step drill. I think it was an inch and a quarter hole. But what it allows is it allows this internal temperature probe or meat probes, anything you want to do, to pass through. You can see right there, there's room for several wires to pass through. Um, it does a really good job. I don't get smoke coming out of there, heat. Um, and it's very convenient and I don't have to have the wire running under the lid, getting pinched between the cover and the body. And so I'm, I'm very pleased with that. It took the most work though, drilling that, that hole with the step bit took quite a while and um, I learned some lessons from that, like take your time and use a, <laughs> a drill lubricant. Um, it would have taken me probably 10 minutes, but it took me about two hours. The next mod, which I'm going to cover which I think is the best one that I did is the baffle plate down there. You can see it with some of the drippings on there, which will get cleaned off eventually, but I'm not, I'm not very worried about the, the baffle plate getting dirty. Um, that helps 
regulate the temperatures. It comes from the firebox on the right, comes across. You have smaller holes here, larger holes here. You get more of the heat coming up on this side, further away from the firebox on the right, thereby evening it out. And I got to tell you, it does a good job. Um, the temperatures on both sides at the top on the thermometers, which aren't the same as grate level, the temperatures are within about 5 or 10 degrees almost all the time. So I've been very pleased with that. Um, there's a little bit of information in a previous video I did on the mods on how I had to sort of work on that to get it to fit exactly, but um, well worth the effort there and well worth the expense. It was, I think it was about 90 to $100 for the baffle plate, but um, I think if I could only pick one thing to do, I think it would be that. Um, well worth it. Now another thing I did here was similar to what I did on the cook chamber which is installing a gasket on the firebox. And that gasket, this Nomex gasket here, is helping retain heat. I'm not worried about smoke as much as heat. Um, and it seems to do a really good job. I mean smoke gives you the indication of a place where heat can escape. But right here, um, this is doing a good job. Um, I've been very pleased with it. Okay, inside the firebox you'll see I did a little um, kind of a basket that helps hold the charcoal and the wood and um, made it out of expanded metal just clipping or using the uh, angle grinder to cut it down and then um, hooking it together with uh, rebar ties. I didn't have to do any welding or anything just it's very simple it comes in and out it's just big enough I don't need anything bigger than that for this size um, but that was a a good addition. And over here there are two different things I did. Let's see if you can see this here in this light. There is a Nomex gasket on the front and back of the firebox, the two halves, where they come together. And on the sides, let's see if you can see this. And on the sides, I used silicone RTV. I wish I had used Nomex here. Uh, all the way around. I could have just doubled it up on the larger gap here, um, but it, I think it works better. I don't know how long the silicone's gonna last. The firebox gets extremely hot. I know this is rated for, I think it's 700 degrees, but when this gets really cooking with you know some mesquite fired up in there, um, it gets very hot. One of the things that's evidence of that is you can see the paint bubbling off all over the firebox. I don't care. I wish it didn't have paint on it to begin with. You can just rub it down with oil and bake that in so you get a similar similar sort of coating and surface to the inside of the chamber. And you rub it down with something like canola oil. Um, this paint is going to come off. It's, you know, that's just the way it is. And it's there and it's underneath it's coming off. So I'm not worried about that. I cover the smoker anyway. Okay, one other thing I did is I put silicone around the uh, exit for the smokestack. And that, that works perfectly. I would do that again. It took a little bit of effort to get it right, but it, it works fine. Um, I was considering putting an elbow in there, which many people do, to bring it down to grate level, but with the baffle, you really don't need to do that. It helps distribute the heat more evenly along here. It brings it all the way over to this left side of the cook chamber, all the way over here. It's not an issue. I don't think you need that elbow. If you have it, that's great, but I ha I've found pretty even you know, temperatures across the interior of this. So those are some of the mods that I did that I'm happy with. One that I'm really not too hot on, those clamps. Um, but I think pretty much everything I did, I would do again. But if I could only do the one thing, I would do the baffle plate. It was, it was probably the most expensive of the mods, uh, but it was well worth it. It's, I think that is the single most important thing which has helped uh, me control the temperature in the smoker. So that's what I would do again. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. It's a beautiful spring day here. And I think I might throw something on the smoker later. Have a good day.